Hello and welcome back, you dirty dogs. This is a sad week. To combat this sad week, we're gonna read happy books. Books that are gonna make me happy. And a book that I am reading that is making me so happy, A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. The joy I'm feeling when I'm reading this book is unmatched. Sarah J Maas has something on me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is in her writing that makes me love it so much. Her characters, I love them. Her world building, her worlds, everything. I love it, it's great. Highly recommend. So I'm on chapter 20, page 222. I'm going to go through this book quick. I know it because I have been waiting for this book for so long to read it. And the covers, honest to God, why did she change them? They're so ugly right now. Thankfully, I have the other covers that are like the original covers. These are so fucking ugly. Like, are you kidding, Sarah, now? But I'm loving this book, absolutely loving this book. So this is my happy book for a sad week. Do you know why it's a sad week? My exams are next week. I'm gonna put in my little time lapse of today. I had this essay title that was released last Monday and we had till today to do it. So it was it was a week, full week. But last Wednesday, I did like 900 words. Did nothing else. I had to do it all today because honest to God, procrastination is at a new level of high. I used to suffer like this from procrastination. I can't believe I just referred to it as suffer. Like I'm suffering from procrastination, but I literal to God am. It's ruining my life. And it's so hard to not do. I'm like, I'm just gonna wake up at 6 a.m. to do it. Easy, never happens. So I had to do that essay today. Here's the time lapse. Hope you enjoy that time lapse. Great. I don't know what book I'm gonna read after this. Maybe like a, you know, a fun, cute Christmas romance, cause that'll be happy. But one time, I think last year, the week or the year previous, I read this Christmas like romance contemporary book. I thought it was gonna be nice. The main character's parent had a terminal illness and I almost cried at the book cause it was so sad. So I'm not looking for that kind of holiday contemporary vibes. I'm gonna take a shower right now cause I'm a bit smelly. Okay, peace. I'm currently cooking my lunch. Updates on the book. So I've been reading the book in between study sessions because if I go on my phone and if I watch videos, I would not stop. Well, I got up to page 280. I'm really liking it. I can tell you absolutely nothing about it because it is a fourth book in a series. And you've probably heard about this series because at this stage it's world renowned. Look, I have been spoiled for all the major plot twists. We had one already around page 220. I knew that. And this other character who I know gets with someone in the book. Studying has been okay. I just want to learn everything in the morning and so then I can have a free evening. If you remember from the last vlog, I emailed my teacher about making like a meeting so we can discuss like what do I do with my life? I don't know what to do. And we had it today and she was really helpful. I was just really happy and grateful after that, that she took the call. She gave me some solid advice. Yeah.
feel like a stuffed teddy. Today's weather is not good. You think that I, this is like six o'clock in the evening. It's almost two o'clock. It's been like this for the whole day. It's just windy, raining, and it's really dark. Okay, so we had a bad start to the morning because this book made me want to read for ages. So I got up to page 414. I haven't read anything else of this today because I've been trying to study, but I woke up at half 10 today, which is not good. I am a morning studier. I don't really like studying in the evening. I don't do it. My procrastinating self says, Sarah, you can study in the evening. But my real life self, my realistic self knows that I don't study in the evening. But this book is just getting so good. It's gripped me again. It was, okay, I was really gripped in the beginning. There was a certain part in the book where I was like, I oh, don't really care. And then I'm back into it again. I'm back in full force. We had an action scene, which I really liked. And I like that we're just getting to know Nesta a bit more. We're starting to see her character development. I do like Nesta. In the other books, it was just really hard to like Nesta because we never got her point of view. So we didn't know why she was just acting the way she was. I think I read 100 pages yesterday. I just couldn't stop. It was just so good. So... My studying today hasn't been the best because, ladies and gentlemen, I stopped studying yesterday around three because mom came home and I was having a chat with her and then I just didn't do anything else. And then in the evening, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna finish what I've been learning. So we did sprints, but these sprints turned out to not be um, productive sprints. They turned out to be talking sprints. Not what I needed when my exams are so close. So I didn't study anything else yesterday. I didn't finish off what I was supposed to do because I have a timeline of what I should learn by the time my first exam starts on Wednesday because I haven't learned all of the stuff. So I need to get my ass in gear. I've been watching a five hour study with me. I've just finished the first hour. <laughs> so back to studying. Yesterday, I decided to do a full on internet phone detox. I had my phone turned off for the whole day yesterday and the only reason I'm, I have it on today is to film this. I have many updates as you can see. But yeah, I wasn't on my phone for the whole day and I felt really good to not be on my phone because I can wholeheartedly say, hand in my heart, say that I am 100% addicted to my phone. There's no question about it. I am addicted. And I use my phone for like a distraction for everything. Like not thinking about something, go on my phone anything go on my phone like all parts of my spare time are filled up with me going on my phone to distract myself from not doing anything or doing stuff that i want to do you know yesterday too i managed to go through like so much shit underneath my desk that i haven't gone through in ages and i'm just getting rid of stuff and then obviously i read a shit ton i think i read like 400 pages <laughs> so the most prominent ep update is that i finished a quarter of silver flames by sergey mass i don't know what page i was on when i last updated e I feel like it was like page 400 and something. But yeah, I just read 700 and how many pages? 750 pages of this book. I think I read, I, I'm pretty sure I read like over 300 pages of this book yesterday because I just loved it so much. The first four books, Vanessa, absolutely get away from me, Nessa. You are such an unlikable character. But this one, like what? I just, I appreciate so much the journey she went on. Like her character development in this is so good. And I like that her recovery wasn't linear. Like it wasn't like this. It's like, she's good now. She's forever good. No, she went like, she was so good. Bad, good, bad. I really like that because it's really realistic. And I almost teared up at like towards the end of the book because of this one scene. And it's just such a beautiful book. And I'm so grateful and happy that I finally read it. And I just loved it. I give it five stars. Of course. And then after that, I picked up my holiday Christmas romance book. So I picked up the holiday swap um, to keep on this happy mood because A Court of Silver Flames had me squealing at some points. I was gassed. So happy. And then, so this book, I only got to page 20. Um, It's from, it's called The Holiday Swap by Maggie Fox. So yeah, page 20. So I've barely made a dent in it at all. But then I was, you know, I was, it was eight o'clock yesterday in the evening. I started that and then I was like, I don't really want to read that anymore. So I picked up The Battle of Songbirds and Snakes. I read this book when it first released in 2020 and I'm rereading it. So I got to page 38 and I've been annotating it. I don't think you can see it because it's hardback, but I'm having such a great time. I made tabs. My tabs are love this moment, funny, plot, psycho behavior, excited, squealing. I'm pretty sure I spelled squealing wrong. There's some scenes where it's like snow lands on top and I just write, I'm just imagining the edits of snow in the movie saying this because the edits are phenomenal because snow is so good looking. And I'm just, 
Ah, there's so much stuff that I'm just, I'm just having such a great time. When she sang for the first time in the movie, I thought it was really cringy when she sang, when they were announcing who was going to be people in the districts who were going to be chosen to, to do the Hunger Games. But in this, it was great. And the song absolutely slaps. But yeah, I'm having such a great time. That was the reading updates. My studying has been good. Today now wasn't the best. This morning, I really wanted to watch Love Island Australia. I missed like the last two episodes. So I turned on my phone, watched the two episodes right there, had food. And now I'm back here filming this and I'm gonna turn off my phone again and then go back to work. And I also have the dentist today. Then I have work tomorrow. So I'm trying to prioritize which work to get done for first. Like I wanna get the exam for Wednesday, all those stuff learned by Sunday, I wanna say. And then the one on Thursday then I'll have learned by today cause I'm doing that one today. The books are making me a lot more happier. Studying has made me, I think studying is really fulfilling once you know what you're talking about after you've learned the initial learning of it. Like learning the stuff is hard. There are the updates, I'm gonna go now. Please. I'm not feeling great right now. It's the same day and obviously I'm on my phone because around four o'clock I was like I'm sick of it. I want to go on my phone. So I've been on my phone. When I say I've been on my phone, I've been on my phone. Like I'm smiling and laughing but like inside I'm dead. I did read a bit more of the holiday swap. I'm on page 88 and I definitely wasn't really vibing with it like the first 60, 70 pages. But I'm liking it slightly a little bit more right now slightly only the smallest bit because i realize books like this aren't satisfying for me like they're really quick actually they're not even quick because they're not satisfying then i don't want to pick them up so then they're not a quick like a quick holiday cute romance fantasy books are like the most satisfying books to read because you really get into it and i just genuinely like reading them and they're fun but my study plans today just were fucking horrible okay, so i've made all the notes so i'm all i haven't even made all the notes actually I need to make notes on two. Oh my fucking god. And because of today now, because I didn't finish learning that, I didn't even get to like the brunt of the learning of it. I'm behind now on my schedule. I was just getting so pissed off because I was learning it. But I wasn't learning it. I was trying to speed learn it. So then I wasn't properly learning it. Like it wasn't going into my brain. And it was evident then when I left and I came back to try and see if I recalled any of the information. I could recall barely anything. And I just got so pissed off. So, of course, I just stopped. Um, but good news, I got a clock. I've had a clock up there. I've had it for I, definitely 15 years, but it hasn't worked the last few years. It's just been there. So, I got a clock. And I'm, I like it. I really like it. Okay, updates on the book. It is great. You can't see the clock. Okay, so we are on page 111. I put it into Goodreads, I was on page 130, because I for some reason I thought I was. Anyways, one one one. Um, we are almost halfway there. I am liking it a bit more. So I didn't even tell you about the book. I know this is super zoomed in, like I know. I didn't even tell you about the book, but it's about two twin sisters and they're both bakers, and then one person gets into like a concussion and she can't do her baking show properly. So she gets her twin to like fill in her spot. So it's a little swap brewski. I see one romance that's brewing and the other one I see it too, but I don't like the other one because I think it's really forced. I don't really like it. Um, but I mean, it's cute. It's cute. But um, I put my clock all the way over there. So I'll actually have to physically get out of bed to get it. Cause so I put it there Um, yesterday. I just excessively leaned to get it. So over here, wait, my finger's coming. <laughs> over here, hopefully I'll have to get out of bed to um get it but yeah i did set my alarm for half five in the morning <laughs> that's why the clock is all the way over there so let's see if i do that yep let's go i'm gonna read more of this now and then go to sleep dudes i'm here to tell you that i actually did it i actually woke up at half five yesterday i meant today i woke up at half five today 99.9% .9 of the time when i set an alarm that's before seven o'clock in the morning and i need to do studying i don't wake up I don't. I'm gone with the wind. I am dead to the earth. I'm so proud of myself. I woke up, I studied for a good hour and 10 minutes, then I went to work. And then at work, I was studying again. I cannot be stopped. I have my little chart. Not really a chart, but like what I need to learn thing. And 
it's not looking great, but you know, we're making progress. That's all you can ask for someone is to make progress. Yesterday night, I stayed up to like 12 reading this book because it's cute. I'm on page 170. So I am more than halfway through, we're making progress. I'm still not really sold on one of the sisters relationships. I like the other one, I think it's cute. It's such an easy, like harmless book. Like if you're not in the mood to read anything that's got to do with any brain power, there's no conflict, there's literally nada. The only conflict that's gonna happen in this book is probably telling the love interest that, well, I'm actually not who you think I am. That's so nice. Only conflict in a book is that you're like talking to the wrong sister, that like you're falling in love with the wrong sister. But when I say that out loud, it actually sounds really bad. But it's not a big thing, to be honest. It's not, it's quite easy. I wasn't on my phone again today. I didn't even bring it to work. It was been, it's been off the whole day and the only time I've got on it is to record this. And then I'm gonna turn it off again. This time I'm, I'm going to turn it off. Not like yesterday where I turned it off and then turned it back on. I'm going to study again. I'm just going to finish the topic that I started yesterday and failed miserably and then did more this morning and I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to finish it right now and I'm just going to feel accomplished. I may set my alarm for half five again tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know how likely I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it. That was the updates. Space. This really feels like an interview sort of situation right here now. It is the tent. Yes, I did bring this clock over just so you can see the time. I did in fact wake up at half six today. That was the only good thing of today really that I woke up. I went over to my desk to try and recall the stuff that I did from yesterday. Got two sentences in, realized I can't really remember what I did yesterday. I went back to bed and I woke up at 11. I haven't studied at all today, so I'm so far behind now. I'm so far behind but good news good news I finished the holiday swap for the last 70 pages I was really skimming it it's just a really innocent fun easy romance Christmas romance but I mean I wouldn't really call this like a Christmassy book it's more like a baking book if you like the great British bake-off if you like baking shows you'll love this book if you like sister dynamics you like it. You don't get like a lot of their sister dynamics until you get like to the last 30 pages of the book. The epilogue was an epilogue that you'd imagine every single romance book, contemporary book has. I didn't really love the love interests. They were so one dimensional to me. I just wasn't really feeling it. I gave it two stars. Like it was okay. Like it wasn't, sh it wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. I'm going to forget this book. Which is probably worse than hating a book, because hating a book, you remember it, but being indifferent about a book, I say, I think, I feel like that's way worse than hating a book. It was 330 pages of just easy, innocent, closed door romance. It didn't really make me that happy, so this book did not go with my week of reading happy books. Okay, I'm gonna movie, because we're gonna go my TBR um, shelf. So I haven't really read a lot of The Battle of Songbirds and Snakes. I have got up to page 52. Um, of the book, but I think I'm just gonna read this whenever I want to read it and do like a slow annotating progress even progress process Even though I'm not really like a slow reader type of person like if I want I want to read a book I want to finish it once I started it but Anyways, we're gonna try with that. We're gonna do new things with that book But right now I think I'm gonna start fourth wing when I got the book I read the first page and I like highlighted so much of it <laughs> So I think I might read that because there's really no other options to be honest. The other books are like in a series where I don't really remember the first few books in the series. Peace. <laughs> my massive mug of tea right now it is 9 44 angel number angel number make a wish um but reading i got to page 62 of the ballad of songbirds and snakes i annotated i think twice more but like there's so much foreshadowing i didn't read anything of fourth wink do you know the way i said that i was gonna like slowly read this i'm really not that girly i really am and i just want to read it straight away 
and I'm also not really in the mood. Like I was in the mood about a week ago when I watched the film, but I didn't read the book, which I should have done. I should have reread it just after finishing the film, but I didn't. And I'm not really in the, I'm not really in it. So I don't know if I'll continue reading it, maybe. I'm either gonna end the vlog right now or I'm gonna study. <laughs> Whichever one I do, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the week of reading happy books for a very sad week. This week has been up and down of emotions. I've been happy, I've been sad, I've been angry, pissed off, everything. Please. <laughs>